All right, so in this video, we're gonna be reacting to this girl's TikTok who has, uh, she has traditional values and she's a bit confused by the term pick me. She feels it's incorrectly used because the people that actually uh, shame other people with those words perhaps should be the one who are the real pick me's, right? So let's get into it. Why is it that women like me who are against feminism actually like men and want to keep men masculine and women feminine called pick me's, but the women who dress slutty and show off their tits and show off their ass aren't called pick me's? The women who shake their asses for TikTok and post them all over Instagram and show off their cleavage, how are those people not the pick me's? I mean, you have to admit she has a point, right? Even if you're on the other side, hmm, I'm, you know, seeing girls you know, want validation, want the eyes of the men they call creepy, they're trying to excite them. Isn't that the actions of someone who is a pick me? Hey, pick me, pick me, look how sexy I am. Can I excite you with my body? They are literally the definition of wanting male validation. We do it for ourselves. How is that doing it for yourself? If it was for yourself, you wouldn't need to post it for possibly millions of people to see. If it was just for yourself, it can stay in your camera roll. Girls will literally post pictures of themselves in their underwear, yet that isn't being a pick me, instead it's empowering and go queen. Feminists do not want the best for women. And this is the thing, it comes down to this. Is it healthy or is it helpful for a woman to expose herself to the same men that she actually claims is problematic and so on? We actually have to stop and think, hmm, does it actually make sense? Is it, f like, forget the need or the opportunity to be liberated for a second. Just forget that. Does the action help or hurt? They encourage women to be whores and sleep around and post their ass on Instagram and start SW work. But women who actually have self-respect and don't want to show off every inch of their body to strangers out in public, strangers on the internet, we're the ones that are called names. Posting yourself half naked is not empowering. If anything, it's more degrading because people are going to objectify you even more. Again, this is facts. Can you really complain? And like, can the women that do that complain and say, oh, we're being objectified um, and all of that stuff when they are giving them the opportunity to do so? It's very weird. I'm not saying you have to dress like a nun. I wear little denim shorts. I wear crop tops. I'm not saying that you need to dress extremely, extremely modest and, you know, never wear shorts, never wear crop tops, but just have a bit more self-respect. Well, men shouldn't objectify us though, but they're going to, yeah? You can't stop that, it's in their nature. Women objectify men too. But just think about who you're calling a pick me and think who really wants the male validation. That ending point is really what it is, right? If you strip half naked because you have to be seen as beautiful and present that and your sense of self-esteem and confidence is based on other people's perception or liking or desiring of you, then doesn't make that make you the person who wants to be picked at least energetically, at least emotionally, at least mentally. But I want to know what you think. So comment down below. Let Remus know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.